So we're not free. Freedom is when you start to realize you're not any of these things and you're infinite. But you really feel that. You're just not saying it. It's not blah, blah, blah. It's not something you've read in a book or you heard someone else is speaking it. You really have come to this understanding on your own. So let's look at the things that pull you down into slavery, to pull you down into this place of suffering. What brings us to it? So a part of that is what we do is we're going to just look of the things that really trigger you, you know, whatever that is, okay? The stuff that triggers you. And you just look at it. What really just drives you crazy and, and brings this strong emotion out of you? It could be a behavior that your mom or your dad has or your partner, or, or your children, um, whatever. You are the only one who's going to recognize that. We all have it. So what we want to do is we want to turn the uh, poison into medicine. Always using a disadvantaged situation into your advantage by turning the poison into the medicine. And the way we do turn the poison into medicine is very simple, is A, we learn that we see the emotion comes out of us and it's gonna, and we acknowledge it. We acknowledge the emotion that we're not that emotion, but we're simply observing it. Okay, we learn that. Now, you want to see that this emotion rises in you and the source of it, it's rising in you and it's been happening to you for uh, most of your life. So now we're just going to look at it from where it's coming from. So if you start to identify its source, then what happens is you get into this habit of catching it, seeing it where it's coming from. Something happened, somebody said something, and it triggered you. And now this emotion is rising inside you. Not the story that they're wrong, you know. Somebody has insulted you, and so... We go into the story that this person's been an asshole to me and they're wrong and, and we have all the rights to be angry and upset. We, okay, I'm not talking about that. Of course, you have the right to be upset because someone has insulted, insulted you, right? So... I understand that part of it. But you're the one who's insulted. So this is your problem, not what they said to you. And if you're going to be insulted here, you're going to be insulted again. And you're not the one who's upset, and you're the one who's suffering from it. Because I can't stop their mouth, and I can't stop them from saying what they say. If it's this person, if today is this person, tomorrow is someone else. Or, or another situation is going to happen that I get some kind of message, either it's directly or indirectly or some kind of behavior of someone that's going to be upsetting me. But, and that sort of thing. So, I... I need to bring my attention away from them and put it on myself. Because this thing is happening to me on a regular basis. And as a result of that, I'm the one who suffers from it. So how do I overcome this? How do I become the master? 
that I crave to be? How do I come to peace within myself? And that is to look at the source of this emotion. What's triggering it? Okay, what triggered it? You look at that. You look at what's triggering it. And it's process that it's rising. And next time, when it happens again, you're already starting to get yourself prepared for it. You're working on yourself. So in the next time, which is going to be a next time, there's always another time. Trust me on that one. Something happens, someone insults you or a situation that triggers you, whatever it is. Again, it doesn't have to be a direct thing to you. It could be about anything. You're, you're angry because of something happens in the world or in your town or your surrounding or they're doing construction next door to your home and they're making a lot of noise and then it's going on for six months and then the construction stops and then they're they're remodeling another home next to your place so the construction starts again and you're hearing the noise of the drill in the morning drilling or they're banging in a wall, breaking walls, and you're hearing all this noise. So it ha doesn't have to be something straight to you directly. Somebody says something to you. It's not that. It's just something that is triggering you. So now you bring your attention there to see where it comes from. And you watch it. You simply watch it. And in this method of obs observing and being fully alert and aware that this thing is coming and is really taking over your body, you know? In, and in the beginning, you may not have any control and you react like always you do. But slowly, what happens is you start to break the old conditioning. You start begin to break your conditioning and to bring more awareness to it and to stay with it, to stay in your center with this storm that is building up inside you. You stay with it. Again, listen, pay attention to this part. I'm not talking about repressing your emotion. I'm not talking about denying, which we've done that in our lives. Not denying your emotion. And I'm not saying not, fe not even feel it. I'm not saying don't feel it. You feel it, of course, because it's bigger than you. What I'm saying is you break the pattern from being unconscious about it and bringing consciousness to it. Now you're bringing actively, you're bringing awareness to it. You are aware of the rise of this anger inside you. You're aware of it. And you're simply, you're doing your best to watch it to the best of your ability to its rise and as you master this you will see this rises inside you and then it just falls falls back it goes back to where it came from 